30, and you've heard of bulletproof armor for law enforcement members of the military, but what about for our children? A local school is encouraging parents to buy armor for their kids' backpacks in case of a school shooting. CBS 4's David Sutta has the story. Business is booming at Applied Fiber Concepts in Hialeah. Owner Alex Sejas makes the bulletproof vest law enforcement and soldiers wear daily. His latest product, though, he stumbled upon by accident. I've been manufacturing body armor for 25 years, and when I started my own company about three years ago, I decided to put panels in my kids' backpacks. Just, again, that's what I do, so I might as well give them a little extra piece of safety. It's really simple to use. Just open your backpack and slide it in. The children were taught to, to do this, wear it as a shield, and it serves its purpose. The armor weighs about a pound and will stop a handgun, not an assault rifle. Sejas's kids carried the panel in their backpacks to Florida Christian School for years. When the school learned about it, they inquired. They decided to, you know, offer it to the parents of the school. Florida Christian declined to speak with CBS4 about the decision. Since media learned about kids carrying bulletproof backpacks, the school has been inundated with media coverage. There's a flood of people who want this now? There is uh, quite a bit of interest, yes. Sejas says parents and schools have been calling all interested in how they can get their own bulletproof backpacks. Did you ever think that you would be selling panels to protect kids? No, I really never did. He believes it's a necessity, though. In the wake of school shootings, it's like a helmet for a biker, insurance for a car, bulletproof plates for grade school. The world is uh, has become quite a an insecure place, um, even in schools. And, and so, again, just another insurance policy towards protecting our children. In Hialeah, David Sutter, CBS 4 News. The backpack armor goes for about $120. And for more information, you can go to our website, cbsmiami.com.